Hello. As some of you will know, it is extremely difficult to get diagnostic equipment that fits the older Series 2.8 HDI's and JTD's engines, um, because instead of the uh, ODB2, ODB2 connector, they only have this little three-pin one. I don't know if you can see that there. It's a little three-pin one. There we go. A little three-pin one in there. Not the green one, by the way. It's the other one. Um, so you connect to it using one of these special leads off eBay. Connect the positive, it's a positive feed I've got coming in from the battery there. Do not connect the negative, okay? The negative lead is hung down here at the moment and insulated off. Okay, today we're going to connect to this device. It's a uh, C Reader VII. It's the only one I've found that actually can read any codes off this machine at all. Um, cheap, cheap devices can sometimes turn the mill light off, but they can't read any codes. Anyway, this is the only one I've had any success with. For the purposes of this demonstration, I've disconnected the, uh, the manifold absolute pressure sensor and air temperature sensor at the back there. And we come through here and see we've got the mill light on over there. Okay, injector light. Okay, so Whoops, sorry, turn the ignition off. Okay, bear with me because I'm obviously doing this one handed. So, first up, we connect these together. Okay, the device is just booting up now. We're going to turn the ignition on while that's, that's happening. There we go, the ignition is on. This is a 19. Sorry, this is a 2002 registration vehicle, so she's made in 2001. Let's see if we can see it a bit better. Okay then, so diagnose. Select your vehicle under the scan option. The only one I can get to work is the Citroen relay reading, so Citroen. Okay, it doesn't seem to matter which one of these two you should select, so I'll select the most recent one. Okay. And scan until you find the relay. There she is. Jump, whoops. Jump her relay. There we go. I'm going to manually select because I want to just choose the engine. There is no ABS on this model. Okay, don't know if this is any interest to anyone, but we'll press that anyway. Okay. Now we know we've got a code, so we go to the code read. Turbo pressure sensor. There you go. Open circuit status. Permanent fault. It's always there. It's not intermittent. Now this should be possible, I think, to read something if we press this one. Nope. So I don't use this device very often. Okay. Save that. Exit. I think... No, I thought we could actually read more detail of the code. Let's just have another little look. It's not going to let us, is it? Let's go down one. Okay, it's got two faults on there, the air temperature signal as well, of course, because it does two things. Nope, still not going to let me read the codes. No. Okay, we could clear them. I just want to have a quick look at the data display does first, though. Okay, I don't think any of these are accurate, but we can get into those later. Go okay, back to the escape. Clear the code. Raise the code, yes or no? Okay, for yes. Okay. Just going to see what's happening inside. Hopefully, the light's gone off. I look a bit silly if it hasn't, aren't I? And yeah, well, no, the light's still on. Ah, it's probably because it's still registering the code. We haven't actually fixed it, so it's generated it again immediately. Okay, let's plug it in this time. So obviously we want to fix the fault before we can get the light to go off. 
If it was an intermittent fault, you could probably have cleared it and started the engine up. There we go, so make sure that's in. I don't want actually come off from the road. There we go. Right, let's go back here again. I wonder if we can read it again. Let's have a look. Yeah, we read the code again immediately because the code was default was still there, so fair enough. Escape. Clear the code this time. So we fixed it. Okay, let's have a look this time. And there you go, it's gone off. Excellent. Now, as I say, I'm not sure any of the other data readings are actually accurate on this thing. I'll show you what I mean. Go down to data display. I mean, fuel circuit information I'm pretty certain is wrong, but let's have a look. It's not running at the moment, so it's hard to tell. Okay. Yeah, I must admit I'm, I'm not particularly sure what a lot of this means. It's got way more fuel than 8%, I can tell you that. And there's definitely no water in the diesel, so maybe that just means the sensor's reading. Um, and maybe if, the, uh, if there was water in diesel, the error light would have came on. So maybe that's just telling you the actual device is working. I don't know. The sensor is working, rather. Back out. It is quite interesting down here. It has... Um, let's have a look. Reading of injector codes. There you go. I don't know if that's of any relevance to anybody if they change the injectors at some point. But that's quite interesting. Anyway, I'll show you what I mean about the live data feed. So we're just going to start it up. I love this engine. It's so quiet. Relatively speaking. Okay, well now we'll see what I mean about the fuel, oops, the fuel system. Yeah, now there's no way it's only doing 200 RPM, is there? It's going much, loud, much faster than that, I should think. Um, and again, so that, that leads me to suspect that most of the other measurements here are probably wrong as well. But I don't know, they may be of some use. Okay, that's as far as I'm going to go today. I mean, you can buy one of these and play for your, experiment for yourself. I've no intention of generating lots of different faults, but yeah, there you can see the RPM according to that is a lot higher as it should be. I'd <laughs> barely be turning over, would it, at 200? Anyway, I hope that's been useful to you. It took me absolutely ages to find this, and I'm very, very grateful to all the various Fiat forums and stuff for the little snippets of information I got from there. There is just one more thing, actually. I'll take a snapshot of the instructions for setting up. Three pin connector. There you go, you can pause that and read it. I'll just scroll down if that makes it any easier. Okay. Cheers then, bye bye.